So it's been about two years since I took the Google Data Analytics certification and I just wanted to reflect on those two years uh, just because the most commented question I get is, do you recommend this certification? Will I land a job from this certification? And I think um, it's worthy for me to make a video talking about that exact topic. Uh, and I think, you know, after two years of taking this certification, uh, I would say my experiences uh, are good and bad and I'll talk about it in this video and hopefully you guys get some value from it and understand uh, my personal impact from that certification what in it for me uh, and you know my letdowns from the certification um, you know sometimes the expectation just is different from what they can provide so yeah this video is not scripted but I do have some notes on the left side of questions that I want to answer some points that I noted down a couple days ago when I was thinking about this idea for a video but yeah without further ado let's start with why I decided to take this certification in the first place uh, it was about two years ago in my junior year. I told the story before, but I just switched from a computer science major to data science. And I wanted to get like a high level overview of the field. I wanted to, you know, understand what I was getting into. So I thought, you know, why, why not take a certification to help me boost my confidence and, you know, maybe get ahead of the competition. At first I was deciding between the Google and IBM certification. And I decided to take the Google one just because the marketing was a lot better for the Google certification. Uh, I saw a lot of good reviews, saw a lot, a lot of good videos. Uh, so yeah, I decided to just take the Google Data Analytics certification. And I remember when I was uh, initially taking it, there was a promise for a job or some sort of expectation that you could land a job from that certification. And I think that is probably the biggest letdown that I got from uh, getting that certification. My expectation when I was taking that certification was just to learn. I wanted to get a high level overview of the field, learn some skills, implement some new projects, some cool stuff basically. Uh, but I do remember like maybe a week or two, uh, a module or something like that, where they go over some, um, they kind of sell the, the course uh, as a way to land a job. Apparently a couple hundred companies uh, hire directly from that certification and they give you like some resume tips. Personally, I've never seen anyone get hired uh, directly from that certification, like without any other experience, without any other projects whatsoever. Uh, but that just that's just my personal experience. Uh, so yeah, that would be my biggest letdown. I would say that's probably the, the biggest disappointment I have from that course. But again, initially, my like initial, um, I guess, impression of the course was not to land a job. I was in my junior year. I wasn't even thinking of internships at the time. I was mainly just focusing on learning uh, and trying to make this whole overwhelming switch from a, a, like a computer science major to a data science major less intimidating. So yeah, that was my initial, uh, I guess, impression or my initial expectation when I was taking the certification. However, I do know a lot of you guys out there, when you are taking that certification now, uh, I guess you're probably looking to land a job with that certification or something of that effect. So yeah, once I decided to take that certification, I think pretty much immediately I learned a lot. I, I know I've talked about this before, but I finished that certification in just a matter of a couple of weeks. I know the, I think the expected time or the estimated time was about three months, but I decided to cram everything into a couple of weeks, grind about eight hours a day, eight hours plus a day, just because I was in between semesters at that point, I had a break and I wasn't going anywhere, I wasn't traveling. So I decided to just grind the certification out, get some stuff on my resume, actually get some experience, try to learn new things, uh, and finish it in a couple of weeks. And I think I learned a lot pretty Im like immediately. So uh, I guess within the first module or the first course, I understood the data workflow. I understood a lot of like the, the communication aspect of the job. They taught you how to ask questions, why it's important to ask questions and all that, you know, random stuff that you just wouldn't think about that they don't really teach you in school, uh, which, you know, to this day I use, I still use some sort of variation of the data workflow that they give, um, you know, I think, if I didn't have that structure, I would be a lot more confused uh, when it comes to analysis, when it comes to starting a project. And when it comes to asking questions, uh, I didn't really understand the importance of asking questions in this niche, this job, until they, I guess, pointed it out. So those two things, like yes, there was a lot of technical stuff that they taught, like R, Tableau, uh, Google Sheets, some SQL and stuff like that. All the technical stuff was great, don't get me wrong. But to this day, I don't think I could have replicated the, uh, I guess, behavioral component of the, the, the teachings that I got from that specific certification anywhere else. I didn't get any of that from school at all. Uh, I guess once you do get some working experience, you'll, you're forced to form some sort of structure, some sort of workflow, and you're, you're forced to you know understand how to carry out a project, and you probably learn from your mistakes. Maybe you ask a couple questions that aren't really relevant or are, I guess, far-fetched. Uh, and you, you know, you build from your experience and you get to the point much quicker. You try to understand stakeholders better by asking clarification 
clarification questions or clarifying questions to try and understand the business tasks better. But yeah, initially when I was doing stuff for school and stuff, I never really got any of this like behavioral component of the job. It was all technical, it was all like stats, uh, some R programming, some some SAS programming, uh, ANOVAs, T-tests, probability theory, stuff like that. Nothing behavioral at all. So yeah, I guess that, that was some of my behavioral takeaways, but when it comes to the technical stuff, I did learn a lot too. I did some programming with Python, with Java beforehand, uh, but when it comes to R and like data analytics programming, like notebook programming or uh, programming that involved data sets and like trying to analyze those data sets, trying to come up with insights from those data sets, uh, I didn't really have any experience there. So it was pretty fun to do the labs. Uh, answer some of the quiz questions and uh, implement something with the caption project. I think the caption project, I've talked, I've talked about the caption project a lot on this channel. And I think uh, that was probably the biggest sell for me. That was probably the, like that itself could have been the ROI uh, money well spent. So yeah, the caption project, I did both just because I liked the first one so much that I decided to actually try the second one uh, and put it on my portfolio. Like from an outsider's perspective, I feel like coming into this world of data without knowing any of these like technical skills, like how to collect data, why collecting data is necessary, data quality, data integrity, how to understand data validation, um, you know, notebook style programming. Um, yeah, programming languages like R and Python. I'm kind of bummed out that they didn't start with Python just because I think R is great, don't get me wrong, but I think Python is just more commonly used in the industry. And when it comes to implementation and even their you know, more advanced course uses Python. So it would be much easier for them to just stick with a specific language and develop from there. I think learning a new language is pretty, not I wouldn't say easy, but not as hard as learning new concepts. But yeah, in terms of other skills like SQL, uh, R, Tableau, uh, Google Sheets, I've used all these skills on a day-to-day -day basis for my job, uh, while I was looking for a job for projects in school. Uh, I just think it's insane how much value I got from that one course. Um, I think I paid for one month and I got, I think, two or three semesters worth of content. Um, just because I think there's less fluff in the certification as compared to like school. Uh, I did a BS in data science. So I did a lot of, you know, computer science, a lot of stats, a lot of math. Uh, which is all great, but for what I needed to do for the core functionality of data science, data analytics, I didn't need to know all that fluff. I just needed to get to the point. Uh, and I think this certification helped me a lot uh, by reducing the fluff, by reducing the, I guess, less important material that wouldn't directionally help me get started or get up and running. Um, it was very, very good in terms of immediate reward. Uh, every time you do or learn a new concept, there's a project or there's a lab that can help you reinforce what you learned and also apply the skills, which to me personally, I learn best by doing. So stuff like that really does help. So yeah, overall, I definitely don't regret taking that certification. In fact, it started, you know, this uh, chain effect of me taking more certifications, learning more, building more projects on the side, using websites like Kaggle, GitHub, uh, using YouTube as a resource, Google as a resource, trying to actually implement the stuff I learned using real data, which uh, I think is pretty beneficial, especially if you're looking for a career in data science. The reason I took the course back then was because I wanted a structured, organized learning roadmap to learn the things I needed to learn, or at least get a high level overview of what I needed to do to dive into the field. And I think what I paid for was uh, exactly that. The, the, I, I think the main reason I chose to spend that money on the course instead of learning on the side by myself was just because it was organized, it was structured, uh, it was tried and tested. A lot of people verified that you know the machine was good. Uh, it was from Google, meaning like it was a reputable company that instructed the the, the course. Uh, so yeah, I think all the all those factors kind of led to my decision of purchasing that course and uh, actually getting the certification. The certification itself. Uh, I think can get your resume through the door. It can't get you interviews, but if you use it well, if you leverage the projects within it, if you actually take the skills that you learn and go ahead and you know dive into more data science concepts, utilize those skills, build upon what you've learned, do the capstone projects, try to get more experience in school, at, at internships, at TA positions and stuff like that, you're probably gonna stand a very good chance. In fact, we've been hiring a lot of junior positions this year and I think almost every single candidate I interviewed for like an intern position or a junior position had taken the Google Data Analytics certification just because I think it's it's branded very well, it's marketed very well, a lot of people know about it now. I think it's just a good way to get your feet wet uh, when it comes to data. So yeah, everyone I interviewed had you know taken the certification. Some sold it better than others. Some actually did the capstone project because I know it's optional. So some people actually did the project and could talk about it and were able to answer questions about certain decisions they made. Uh, the people who did really well were able to talk about why they would change their you know mindset. Maybe they did something uh, that they would change now. Maybe they use a pie chart instead of like a table or something like that. So 
Um, yeah, I think every single candidate that I interviewed took that course for a reason. They did it. Uh, it was proven to work. They got interviews. So yeah, I don't know. I guess there's a correlation between that certification and interviews, at least for my company. I do believe a couple people who got rejected also took the certification, which could mean they didn't sell themselves or didn't really highlight the stuff they learned uh, well enough, or maybe they just didn't have any experience or enough experience to actually land that interview. I don't really know. Again, the point of the certification to me was to learn, not to actually land a job. I think learning is the first step. And then after that, you do what you need to do to get the job. If your expectation was for the certification to land you a job, I just think you're gonna be letting yourself down. Honestly, if you expect a four-year bachelor degree or maybe a master's degree to land you a job, there's no such thing as a guaranteed uh, job unless you go to like MIT or Harvard or Yale and stuff like that. But yeah, for most colleges, even if you pay thousands of dollars uh, to invest into your education, there's no guarantee for you to land a job. Uh, so yeah, I think, you know, taking a certification that costs you, what, 50 bucks, maybe a hundred bucks is a much better way to actually figure out if you're interested in that specific niche, learn what you need, the basics of what you need to actually get started and do the thing. Like you have to actually put in the work. There's no shortcuts here. You have to actually put in the work, gain experience. You have to start, start small. Uh, I started with like TA jobs, RA jobs, unpaid internships, and then I built the experience from there, stacked it up to a point where I had sufficient experience to actually meet the qualifications required to do the job. Uh, and I think that's just the best way to do it. Just do the thing. Because let's say if you do get lucky and get a job that you're not qualified for, if you do take a shortcut to get there, you're probably not going to learn as much as you would if you had the basics or the foundation set. And you're probably not going to be there for very long. So yeah, I truly think this course, if you take it for educational purposes, if you take it to learn, if you are someone who's new, someone who's fresh, without any experience in data, without any background in coding and stuff like that, someone who's just looking to get their feet wet into the field of data, I think this course is just probably one of the best ones out there. And then uh, after that, if you actually truly learn stuff and you're truly interested in the field of data, you can do so much more. Just, just from this course, you learned enough to, I guess, carry yourself and do more work independently through projects on Kaggle, which is what I, I did, or uh, learn from YouTube videos uh, because you kind of know what you know and you kind of know what you don't know. Uh, personally, I was more interested in data science house. So I focused on machine learning. I focused on deep learning. I focused on infrastructure, ML ops, DevOps, and stuff like that. Uh, but I also know people who pivoted to data engineering and they took courses that focus on ETL, warehouses, and stuff like that. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is, uh, it depends on your expectation. I do believe they did some marketing for uh, landing a job or how companies hire directly from the certification. I do think that's false advertising. I don't believe. Uh, or at least I've never experienced anyone who got a job directly from the certification. Uh, however, if you take it for a different intent, if you take it for intent to truly just learn, I think you won't be disappointed. Uh, and also if you can't afford it, they do offer a lot of scholarships. I, I remember, I think sometime last year when I made a review for that video, a couple people commented down below about the scholarships they were getting uh, and deadlines to meet, so stuff like that. I will link that video down below for you guys who want to check it out. It's a pretty comprehensive review. I think it's like five minutes long, so go check it out if you want to you know, get my initial thoughts from taking it like right after I took the certification. Uh, but yeah, after two years, I still don't regret it. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. This uh, is just me talking about my thoughts, my honest feelings, uh, just reflecting on how I got to where I am today, and I think that certification along a couple other things is just one of the like foundations of how I got to where I am today. Uh, I know a lot of people also took that certification, but I guess the expectation difference kind of led to different outcomes. Um, truly, I think if you expect a certification to lend you a job, you will be led to disappointment. I don't think any certification out there, unless it's like some sort of AWS certification where you have to pay $400 to do a specific test and it's very, very, very recognized by companies and they actually look out for uh, candidates who have that certification. I just don't think these like Coursera certifications can actually lend you a job. But yeah, the reason I'm making this video is because I was reflecting on how I got to where I am and I think that certification along a couple other factors truly helped build a strong foundation for me to put in the work and actually learn new things, implement new things, build new projects, and uh, you know, try to leverage those skills to land a job. Now, I want to preface that this is not a sponsored video. This is just me sharing my, uh, I guess, two-year uh, review or I guess reaction to taking that course. And I truly think this is one of the few courses that you know stood the test of time. A lot of courses, especially in the data field, uh, don't really last just because things change so fast here. Things change. I guess every single day with AI, ML, new technologies, new tools introduced every single day. But I think the core functionality is thought with that specific course um, is gonna last for a long time. At least the workflow will, uh, some of the concepts they teach, the questions they ask you to, to learn, to think about, 
um, you know, some of the ethics that they talk about, data ethics, data quality, data integrity, you know, accuracy, relevancy, and stuff like that. Yeah, all these key concepts I truly think will just last uh, for a very long time. And I would recommend them to, uh, I guess, anyone who's looking to get into the field of data with no experience, no previous experience, because that's important. If you have an expectation of learning machine learning, you're probably not gonna learn that with this course. If you have, if you have a background in programming and data and you wanna learn more, you're probably gonna get more value from a different course. But if you have nothing, no previous experience, no knowledge whatsoever, and when it comes to data, maybe you have some Google Sheets experience, but no, no idea what SQL is, no idea what R is, no idea what BI and dashboards are, or or tools like Tableau are, uh, I would strongly recommend if you're looking to get into the field of data to try out this course. For those of you who can't afford it, I'll leave a couple links to scholarships that I can find down below. I also know you can learn a lot of the concepts from YouTube, from like blogs or articles like Medium. Uh, you just have to do a lot more work to actually collect and gather those resources and compile it and you know validate if it's actually teaching you the things you need to learn or if it's just teaching you a random fluff that you don't really need to learn and stuff like that. But there's always a way to learn things for free. You just have to do a lot more work when it comes to digging and like uncovering those resources. Also, like I've said before, a lot of the candidates I've interviewed and a lot of the resumes I've seen have this GDA certification listed, which to me uh, means that it's getting pretty saturated. But if your intent is to, to truly learn the fundamental skills needed to excel in this field, uh, or at least to build a good foundation, it doesn't really matter if it's saturated or not. I think at this point, this is probably one of the most valuable courses you can take for learning data or introduction to data. Um, and if maybe in the next year, some other course comes out by you know Microsoft or something uh, where it's more valuable, it's more meaningful, and you can get a better bang for your buck, I will do the research and I'll recommend it to you. But as of this time, to those of you who are looking to break into the field of data with no background whatsoever, with no coding experience, with no understanding of data uh, as it stands, I think this might be the best course for you. But if you're not looking to learn, and if your only outcome is to land a job, then don't take this course. There are much better ways for you to do that. You gotta focus on building a good resume. You gotta focus on getting some experience and how to get referrals, to get interviews and stuff like that. I talk about those tips in some of my other videos. However, if you're looking to learn and truly that's your only goal, I think this course will do a good job there. Also, I know this is kind of a different type of video. I think hopefully at least it's more authentic, less scripted and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, however, if you guys have any other comments, questions and concerns do also leave them down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one